Floss Tube. My name is Stephanie and I am the New England Stitcher and it is Friday, April 12th, um, 2024 and this is Floss Tube number eight. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. It is a Friday and it, <laughs> the last time I filmed, it's been three weeks since I filmed and the last time that I filmed it was also on a Friday and we all know what happened on that day. I got a little crazy because I worked all week and you know, it's Friday, um, but I wanted just to, sh to uh, come to you today. Um, it's been a long time. Three weeks, I think, is definitely uh, too long of a time for me to, to be away from you guys. Um, I have a lot to show you. Um, I've got some starts. I've got, well, we've got a lot of starts. Um, we've got some starts. We've got some whips, and I have a couple of finishes. Uh, nothing fully finished, but... Um, I do have a lot of sales to talk about. This is definitely the season of the sal, um, <clears throat> which is going to be the name of this video that you'll already know, but um, I'm going to call it the seasons of the sales. I can't join another sal, but I can. And uh, my friend Sarah, my partner teacher Sarah, she actually um, said I, she gave me that name because, um, well, she said that because I. I've joined a lot of sales and I can't say no and I can say oh no but then I end up doing it anyway so um so anyway I hope you stick around and uh you know hang out with me for a little while and I'll share all my my adventures from the past week <clears throat> so to start with um I do have notes uh, I actually typed them up um so I feel like I'm super fancy and I actually straightened my hair uh, my hair is it's not curly, but it's definitely wavy. And I was watching um, Nicole and uh, Alicia, the Fanciful Flamingo. I was watching them the other night on Wednesday. And um, they were talking about how, like, when they film, they put their makeup on and they do their hair and they get dressed. Um, and I thought about that because I got home from work and I had on um, jeans and a t-shirt and it was my uh my duck t-shirt because i teach computer science and we talk to the duck a lot because it gets kids talking out loud and they usually that helps them figure out what their code is um so i came home and it's it's been pouring rain and i got caught in the rain um twice today because i got caught going up to work and then i realized once i got into work that i forgot my phone in the car and i was i don't know with kids i always feel like i need to have it with me just in case so I ran back to the car in the pouring rain and <clears throat> my hair was very wavy, curly, crazy. So I told my younger daughter um, that I was gonna film today and she said that I needed to, to fix fix this. She uh, she tried to put a clip in, but the wavy w waviness of the up here was um, was a little bit too much. So she, uh, she said that I needed to flat iron it. So this is what you get. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to, that was, you didn't even need to know that, but I just shared, I just shared. Um, but I, my, my friend Sarah is probably going to be watching this and thinking, that's not what she had on today. Um, but anyway, um, so I just wanted to say thank you for the mentions, um, the pink stitchers, um, the camping stitcher, Erin Elizabeth, b and &E stitchery and the bougie stitchers. My husband, I was watching. So I, I don't know about you guys, but last all right so last week last week was my birthday and we're going to talk about um some of the fun things that i have um but i ended up getting sick on friday so i planned i had originally planned to film last friday but it didn't work out because i knew i wasn't going to be able to film on saturday and sunday because i work at the quilt shop and the quilt shop had a, a quilting retreat last weekend so i was away <laughs> At the, re at the retreat the, on Saturday and Sunday. And um, I just kept getting alerts on my phone that like, oh, the Bougie Stitchers posted. Oh, Sweetwater Stitcher posted. Oh, B&E Stitchery. Oh, Brenda and, and Laura. And I was like, I can't watch them, I'm working. Um, so I had a lot to watch this week and I've enjoyed every minute of it. So I feel I feel good that I'm filming this week because all, all of, most of the people that I watch, oh, and don't forget, Floss Boss and Cousins, um, all of you guys filmed last weekend, so, um, you know, give, give, uh, give other people who have nothing else to watch, you can watch me. Um, so anyway, but my, my husband, I was watching Brenda, Brenda, I was watching, uh, Brandy and Emma, that was Brenda. I was watching Brandy and Emma, um, when I got home from the retreat on Sunday, 
and he said, I think we should have a drinking game to see every time they say your name, Stephanie, you should take a drink. And then you, they had said my, um, they had said Stephanie, but they were talking about fabrics by Stephanie. And he's like, that's not you. <laughs> but anyway, um, they are my friends and I love them and we all love our friends and I get to see them. I'm so excited. Um, I get to see all of my friends next week. I'm so excited. The library searches retreat is coming. Sorry, just excited. Um, it's been way too long um, since we've seen friends in person. So, but anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to um, to those people who have mentioned me. Um, and uh, who have I been watching? I know a lot of floss tubers talk about who they like to watch, and I run. I run for a lot of a lot of people. I run for my friends. Um, we all run for Brendan and Laura. I mean, they had been gone for a while, and we just ran to the. Uh, and I, I couldn't run because I was at the retreat, but as soon as I could, I watched them. Um, Jane and Julie. I mean, we watch, we watch all these friends. Welcome, Citri. Hello. Um, Shelly and Justine. I cannot wait to meet them. I'm so excited. I'm totally going to fangirl. So Shelly and Justine, if you happen to watch me, please pardon my fangirl for you. Um, let's see. But I did want to talk about a new, to me, new to me uh, floss tube that I hadn't watched and I just watched them because my partner teacher Sarah she said it's funny she comes in and she's like hey have you heard of the floss Boston cousins and I was like yeah because <laughs> she's like I love them and she's like you have to watch them I'm like I already do <laughs> so she's like funny about that but she came in the other day and she's like have you watched the Hathaway sisters uh sorry Hathaway stitchers Hathaway stitchers like Anne Hathaway Hathaway stitchers and I said no who are they? Tell me more. So she did. And I, I watched him and they are a, sister, a duo, a sister duo. And, um, one of the sisters, she, um, she creates her own patterns. And I just, I'm amazed by anybody who can, I'm amazed by pattern designers, first of all, because it's something I haven't been able to grasp. I, I, if I have to rechart something, I get the graph paper and I start coloring in my squares. Um, so I love the fact that, you know, people use the, the computer and they do that. Uh, and I am computer literate. I teach computer science. Um, but you know, everybody has their strengths and that's not one of mine. So anyway, if you haven't watched them, definitely check them out. Um, I will, um, hopefully remember to link them in the description below. Um, but the Hathaway sister, uh, stitchers, I'm going to keep saying sisters, but the Hathaway stitchers, um, they were, they were enjoyable. They were fun. Um, and I, I like to have fun. I, I want to have fun. I, I know. Anyway. Um, but I, I, I have to say I did run for Missy and, and Missy and Kathy. I got home from my daughter's track meet on Wednesday and, and I, I just was like, no, was it Tuesday? I mean, it was Tuesday. I don't know. Whenever it popped up, it was like six minutes. And I was like, oh, gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. So, and I just sat there and I stitched and it's like, you know, I'm sitting at the table with my friends talking and well, I'm not talking. I'm just listening to them. <laughs> so, um, if you're stitching right now, you're my friend and we're stitching. Well, I'm going to show my stitching. You can look up, keep on stitching and, uh, I'll let you know when to look up. Um, but anyway, so that is a, a very long introduction, so I apologize, but I just, I just miss you guys. Um, anyway, so let's get ready for starts. My first start is my birthday start, and I just want to thank all of you so much that have joined along, and I'm sorry there is no hashtag. Um, there is no hashtag because we all... Um, we did a Zoom a couple weeks ago and we tried to figure out um, something to call it. And there were lots of suggestions. Um, Chris, the camping stitcher said it was the 11 billion cell uh, because I've got a lot of cells going on. Um, but um, it, it's just such an amazing pattern. I mean, that's really, let's focus on the pattern. Didn't matter that it was my birthday, um, but I, I just love this pattern so much. So thank you, Annie. Um, for that. And I, I do have, um, I do have winners. I do have winners and they're actually, oh man, I just realized that the winners are on my phone. So I'm going to have to stop, stop this and make sure I can find the winners and write them down so that I have them when it's time. But here is my progress. So this is a start. Um, and if you don't remember what the pattern looks like, um, this way. That is the pattern. It is Strength and Dignity by Annie the Proper Stitcher. And then this is my, 
is the progress that I made. Which, for only being two weeks, probably two weeks, yeah, two weeks, um, I think that's pretty good. I've just got, um, I've got some more cherry blossoms, and I've got the house. Um, I am stitching it on, and I'll just give you that. Um, I'm stitching it on 36 count waterfall by um, Forbidden Fiber Co. And I did have some color changes. You'll see that I'm using, um, for the words, I'm using Brethren Blue, which is my go-to blue. Um, I am using um, the, all the called for pinks in the flowers. And then I will switch out um, the house. It'll be in Brethren Blue and the other one is Deep Fennel. So it'll be Brethren Blue and Deep Fennel for that house. So yeah, I'm hoping to have it done by the end of April. That's kind of my unwritten goal, but um, it's I think it's definitely doable. Um, I've gotten a lot of progress on it. It's one of those things that like, I find it so comforting and I don't, I. I know that Sarah W always talks about how she like when she's enduring a stitch she kind of like slows down on purpose because she wants it to last and I feel like that's kind of how I am on it I want to finish it because I want to see it finished but at the same time I'm really enjoying it and I don't want to rush it um, so but I, I do want to get it done because I got a lot of whips we'll talk about that later um, all right the next start that I have is a boss me um, pull for this month. So this month on Boss Me, so Boss Me, for those of you who don't know, Boss Me is just like Whipgo, um, but it's created by the Boss Stitchers, um, Jane and Chris, and the um, Two Needles Pulling Thread, Kathy and Missy from Maine, so it's Boss Me, Maine. Um, and I am stitching the, um, so one of my whips, one of my whips that was called, um, it wasn't a whip, it was just, a, I, I didn't just put whips on my Whipgo, on my boss me board like Whipgo does um, I know that some people don't do that anyway but I put in some starts and I, I had got this last year at market and I love it I did the 4th of July um, one that is like this by Erica Michaels I loved it um, I ended up loving it so much I stitched it twice because the first time I did I was a new stitcher and, and it didn't work out so well so um, this one is going a lot better, um, and I'm loving the colors because they're all um, they're all the tealy colors. So um, I started this, and it's stitched on just to, so you know. It's uh, 36 count, and it's I think it's sand. I don't I didn't write down that name, but it's a tropical stitches. So if you're not familiar with that um, fabric dyeing company there in Florida, tropical stitches. This is what I've got, and I thought that might be I thought it was just really pretty. Um, when I put it up close, it's showing a little bit more browny gray, but it's, uh, that's, that's a little bit better. Um, but the teals, I mean, the teals are just so pretty. Um, so yeah, so I, I started and I didn't have any counting pins. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm such a like cross stitch failure, but I didn't have any counting pins. So I just used the, some of the extra needles that I have to, uh, count my tens because I have to go up there so anyway you know you make do with what you have um this is me I you know you guys are seeing everything you see, <laughs> I actually brought some of my cross stitch to the retreat and um because the girls were talking about oh what are you working on and I, I had told them a couple quilts that I was working on but I said I spent a lot of time cross stitching so they asked me on Sunday so I brought in some and uh, they're like looking at it they're flipping it over on the back and I was, all I kept thinking about was what Brandy says is like when you flip over the back of a cross stitch it's like looking at somebody's underwear so I was like oh though so the ladies complimented me and they were so sweet they were so sweet but I'm I'm keeping this in a project keeper that I made um, last summer okay now here's another here's another whip i mean sorry another start that is a sal but i'm i'm late to that sal um i'm sometimes i'm late to a lot of sales um but it is a spring quaker um it is also um a pull for the boss me board um i got to stitch something in primrose that was what it said stitch something primrose and i was like yes i can join that sal because i I get to use, I get to stitch on it. So um, it is, like I said, the Spring Quaker by Primrose Cottage. And here is my start. And don't look here because this is all bad. <laughs> I was, I was texting with um, my friend Beth 
before I got on to film this and we were talking about some of the frogging that we're going to have to do tonight and this will be frogged tonight because I screwed up somewhere in there. I don't know where, um, but I think I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to, just going to rip it out. Just whatever's inside this because I did double check and count. Uh, these ways. Why is it? I don't understand. Like, what am I doing wrong in my brain? Like, I love Quakers, but Quakers, they call me some problems. They, they cause me some problems because apparently I cannot, I cannot count a Quaker. I just can't. Um, but I did try it. Um, so originally when I got it, I thought I was going to stitch it in a variegated floss. So my friend Sarah and I, um, we ordered it and we ordered it together and, you know, paid we shared shipping and stuff. And I got Petunia by Cottage Garden Threads. And it is so pretty. And it's definitely very springy. But let me, sh I, I didn't rip it out because I wanted to show you what it looks like. So here, here's what it, um, here's what it looks like. Sorry. It's, up, it's, it's upside down. Um, yeah, so here's what it looks like. But you, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just didn't look good. So I ended up, I ended up going with purple on purple because I thought purple, this would be really pretty. I had this fabric. Um, it was left over from, I stitched for Bed and Fiber Co's Eras uh, pattern and bought the, the fabric and the floss um, for my daughter for Christmas. And it's a Taylor Swift, had all of the, um, the albums from the Eras tour. So I used the leftover fabric and the, one of the purples from that stitch I knew sh would show up. Um, and I'm really liking it. It's really pretty. The only thing I wish is that it had a little bit more variegation, but then maybe if it did, then I wouldn't be able to see it. But um, I think it's really pretty. And I'm not a purple person, but it's still really pretty. Um, so that is, um, that's what I learned. I learned that this really, it, it made sense in my brain. But then when I went to go stitch, it didn't look so great. Um, and if anybody else, if you're going to library stitchers and you want me to bring it, send me a message and you can have that because I don't know what I'd stitch it. I don't know what I'd stitch with it. I think it's cottage garden threads are gorgeous. I just don't know what I would stitch that with because that was the only thing I had in my mind for it. Oh, and I'm keeping that in my project keeper. Well, my whippa keeper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> When I was watching the Floss Boss and Cousins and Christy was trying to <laughs> say whippa keepa, it, it, she cracked me up. She cracked me up. I was like crying. I was laughing so hard. And I'm sitting in the parking lot uh, waiting for my daughter. I'm picking her up from track and I'm stitching and I'm watching it. And, uh, and <laughs> I just start laughing. I'm laughing out loud and I'm wiping tears away. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, these people that are like walking around the parking lot. They look at me like, what is she doing? But anyway, um, yeah, I really, I love, I, I love that paisley. I love the flowers. I just, I don't know, I love the birds. I mean, those little birdies are super duper cute. Anyway, um, so those, those are my starts. So for whips, I have several whips. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, I was on a Zoom call with my friends and um, we were talking about your number. What's your number? And I had just watched um, Jane and Chris from the Boss Stitchers and they were talking, they went through um, Jane's uh, whip parade and Jane had 50 whips, but I had forgotten. Um, and I was, and I was thinking, my gosh, I have, I know I have a lot because I have them. I don't. <sighs> this is okay confessional um I didn't want my husband to know like all the bags and all the projects that I have so some are upstairs in my closet some are downstairs by the chair some are down here in the basement so when I was on that zoom call I went around to all my my stashes um and honestly he's not going to care and I'll t I'll continue but um so I count everything up and I tell the girls and I'm thinking Brandy's going to have a crap ton more than me no girl did not um, but my number is 40. It is now actually 38 because I did two finishes. Um, but sorry, my hands are cold. So it, like, I feel like they're blue. Um, so yeah, there's, so there's 38 whips, but I had 40 when I, when I counted and, um, 
I just couldn't believe it. And part of me started to feel bad, like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Why do I have so many? And then I started to get a little stressed out. And then I was embarrassed. Like all of these emotions. I just want you to know that I've come to the realization that I'm accepting. I'm accepting my whips because they make me happy. And I'm accepting them more because my husband heard me on the Zoom call and he heard me tell the ladies that I had 40. And after the Zoom call's over, I go up to bed and I get into bed and he's like, did you say you had 40 whips? And I, I was like, yes. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, that's a lot. And I was like, well, you know, then I get defensive and I'm like, well, I don't ask you how many nuts and screws and bolts and tools and screwdrivers you have in the garage. And then he's like, no, 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 no. He's like, does it make you happy? And I said, of course it makes me happy. And he said, that's all that matters. So yay, husband. Um, so, you know, he's like, no, we can finish a couple. So I finished two and he was very excited to see them. But um, anyway, um, so I'm not embarrassed of my number and I'm going to embrace my number wholeheartedly. And I know that when you see the rest of my cells that I have planned, the number's gonna get above 40. Gulp, gulp. Um, but I'm okay. I'm okay with my whip number um, because it does make me happy. And um, I am a, a person who finishes. I do finish them. Um, I, I do have a little stash over there that is, um, I'm not going to say shameful because I stitched them and they're beautiful. It's just, I don't know how I want to finish them yet. For example, like the Christmas parade. I love the Christmas parade. I just haven't found what I want to, how to finish it. And I don't want to hang, like I don't have a spot um, in my house to hang it in a frame. So how am I going to finish it? Am I going to turn it into a pillow? Am I going to turn it into a flat? Like how? That's the question, right? How? So um, I, I've been thinking on that. And as soon as I come up with the plan, I'll finish it. Um, so anyway, now it's time to look at my whips. Um, so tis spring. This was started on um, the spring week, spring equinox. I can speak. Um, this is by Brenda Gervais, and this is how far I've gotten. I did this as a stitch along with my friend Brandy, because Brandy <laughs> just <laughs> so this will be like Brandy and Emma, Brandy and Emma, Brandy and Nisi, because Nisi stops a lot with us too. Um, you could have a drinking game, so you know, take a sip of your coffee, tea, whatever beverage. <laughs> um, every time I say their name, but um, so this is Tis Spring, and it is stitched on twenty count vintage country mocha. It is not in all of the called for colors because some of the colors um they didn't have some of the colors and i did not do any of the tea dyeing of or coffee dyeing of my floss because i really like the the turquoisey robin's egg we didn't have any robin's egg at stitch new england that we were all out the last time i went so i ended up substituting robin's egg for um color uh classic color works tropical paradise um and i think it looks i think it looks fine i think it looks really good so yeah, I'm okay with that. So yeah, and um, the violet color, that little purple, um, I wasn't gonna buy a whole skein for that little itty bitty teeny tiny little purple, so I stole the purple from the Quaker. So that is my, um, that's my first whip. And again, hoping, 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 made some progress on it, the, the house is filled. So really the only big things left are well, there's still a lot because there's a lot of scattered stitch, stitching, but the wreath and the bird and the, the hello and then all of those um, little Quaker uh, white backgrounds. Um, my next whip, and I got to get this done. So this is going to be what I'm stitching on tonight because I have a Zoom call tonight. This is what I'm going to be stitching on. Um, I am using the Teresa Coget free pattern called Create Every Day. Um, and yeah, I have to get this done by next week. So... Yeah, I love it. And I did the last video, I did the tutorial on, I can't remember if it was the orange letter or the red letter, but that's how I got, that's how far I got. Um, I hope that the video helped you if you hadn't really like figured out or processed how to stitch the bags. Um, I love stitching the bags. Um, it actually goes really fast in that pearl cotton, pearl cotton, my gosh, Friday, hard to talk. I'm so sorry. Um, it gives a lot of coverage. Like it's a really dense coverage and it looks good. That's all. Um, let's see, another another whip. Um, this was an impromptu uh, start a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, because um, my friend Brandy. <laughs> um, but uh, it is the Spring Bunny 
by uh, Erin Elizabeth and this bunny is such a happy bunny. It is a sweet bunny. It looks just like those bunnies that you would get and they were hollow and you'd like bite the ear off or the ones you'd like gnaw on after you put them in the freezer. I loved doing that as a kid. I always put my chocolate bunny in the freezer and then I just kind of like gnaw on it um, or try and like use a knife to break a little piece of it off. Um, yeah, it's probably not the best thing, not the safest. Um, but we did a lot of unsafe, <laughs> you know, our parents would just, well, my parents, they're like, ah, eh, come back when it's dark. Okay. Come back when the street lights turn on. Okay. Um, but anyway, things are a lot different now. Uh, but as the spring bunny, and I did, you'll see in the hall, um, I did uh, purchase the um, paisleys and polka dots finishing for that because I also have the bird that I'm going to stitch. But I'm using, these are my these are my flosses. Um, I think they're all the call for, or close. I think there's maybe one substitution that um, Emma had helped me um, find, but I love it. It's such a nice stitch. And, it, oh, I'm sorry, it's, um, it's stitched on uh, Grace Notes fabric, an unknown named Grace Notes fabric. So that is one whip there. Another whip. See, I am touching them, right? Touching. Uh, so that's good. Um, this is my leap year start. Um, I did, uh, if, I don't know, I had a comfort one day, even though I, I'm only going to be stitching it on the 29th of the month. Um, I was, I think it was my last Zoom call when we were talking about whips that I was stitching on this. I know it's because it's like, it's a 20 count fabric so I can see it and still talk and I don't really, I don't, I don't seem to mess up on it as much. But um, this is how far I've gotten. And this is, in case you don't remember, because, you know, um, this is called Symphony of Friendship. And it's the sampler. There is. That's better. Um, I cannot wait to get to the birds. And, yeah, so I started putting in some of the leaves. Yes, it's going to take me a while on this one because this is a big guy. But I'm okay with it. Yeah, see, look, me come to a lot I've come to a lot of realizations I've come to peace with my whips <laughs> but um there's a lot there's a lot of floss and you need a lot of some of the skeins I think there's a few skeins that like four or five of them and then um if you ended up getting the Vicky Clayton silk conversions there were some I think you needed eight because the the way her yardage works so I was I did not do that I just did the called for DM, DMC and fancy flosses that were called for. Okay, the last one was um, a, a whip that was pulled uh, back in March. Yes, in March. But again, I kind of like, you feel like stitching it. So I felt like stitching it. Um, this is Halloween This Way by the Primitive Hair. And I ended up finishing outlining all of this um, <clears throat> and then started going up here so I can finish. What I would like to do, and this is, I think it's doable. Um, I would like to have everything outlined so that when I go to Stitch New England, because this was the piece I brought to Stitch New England last year, um, I would like to bring it because I've gotten a lot faster on 30 count. Um, and 30 count, I don't necessarily need my magnifying glass. Um, but I think that would be fun, you know, just to show my table mates how far I've gotten uh, since last year, you know. So that was what I had started to, to prepare for at last year's Stitch New England retreat because everybody that I had talked to said, bring something that you can fill in because you're going to get talking, you're going to get distracted, and counting is going to be hard. So I was trying to think that way. But here's what the full pattern looks like. Um, and it is stitched on the 30 count um, called for linen. Um, and it's all printed on by um, the primitive hair. And I think it's really pretty. So those, those are the whips that I have worked on over the past three weeks. So I have two finishes to share with you. One is actually a start and a finished. I was hoping to get a fully finish, but um, it didn't happen that's okay. I am going to make this into a pillow and I do plan on stitching this again. Um, this is the Nebby Needle uh, Mustard Steed. 
and I'm using the called for colors. It says, if ye, of faith, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew 17, 20. And I plan on stitching this again, like I said, um, for this is a gift. It will be a pillow, but it'll be a gift for my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter. Um, and it didn't, it did not take me that long. I actually stitched it during Holy Week. Um, I saw everybody else doing a Holy Week start. I am Catholic. Um, and I thought, oh, I can do, I can do that. So um, I did and I finished it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I love it. So would you like to see? You're like, yeah, sure, sure, Steph. Um, and this is it. And let me see if I can find out what it's stitched on. And okay, okay, apparently I I took off the little doodad. So let's see. I'm looking around to see if it's over there, but um, it's just an unknown linen right now. We're just gonna go with that mystery linen. Have no idea. I know that this color is darker, and I did that on purpose. Um, it's all supposed to be in this light yellow, which I think is curry. Um, and I ended up doing part of it at the top darker because when you're, when you're, when if you've ever seen a mustard plant in person, um, not all the buds are the same color and they do uh, get a little bit old and darker. So I thought that might be nice to, to show like some, some differences there. So I did, I did make that change, but otherwise I didn't. And I actually finished this stitch. Um, when I was homesick last Friday, I had everything done on the inside. All I had to do was the border. So while I was sick and the fat cat <laughs> sat on top of me taking a little nap, um, I was able to stitch that border. So yeah, it'll just be a little pillow and um, it'll, it'll be a reminder to my daughters to, uh, even if we don't know what his plan is, everything happens for a reason. So, and the next one, it's a Quaker. And I screwed it up again. Um, this is the Honeybee Quaker. This was a, I think it was a sip and stitch uh, last spring. Um, it was called on my boss me board and I did finish it. So yay me. Um, but let's take a look at it, shall we? And you'll see how I screwed it up. And I did this before. I can't believe I did this thing, the same thing. So if you notice, ladies and, and any gentlemen that watch me, the top over here is stitched with two threads over two and the bottom corner is stitched with one thread over two. I did this on the Autumn Quaker and I've just been stitching so many things with one thread that I, I don't know, I just picked up one thread and I started going and I didn't realize until I was at the, I was, I was done and I was like, son of a nutcracker and there's no way. Uh-uh. We all know the struggle with the Quakers. I mean, you can see the giant mess up right here. The bee is supposed to be up a little bit, um, but I am not stitching that over. So the the hive and the little um, bee house, they don't look as full. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. It's just going to be a little pillow. It's going to, it's going to be in my bee decoration. My ugh, speaking is hard. Uh, in my bee decorations, um, I'll know it's there. And now all of you know it's there, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's not going to be my, you know, forever piece that, you know, nobody's going to touch. I mean, this is going to, you know, sit on the shelf and be filled with walnut shells and polyfill. And, you know, someday I might have um, grandchildren, hopefully, God willing, and they'll help me put out decorations and they'll be picking up the pillows. Um, and sometimes little kids have sticky fingers and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm happy. I'm just so happy it's done. I, I love all of the bees and I actually have only one of the bee patterns left to stitch and I'll have stitched all of them. Um, I still have the ABC and I wasn't sure I was ever going to do it because my husband sees alphabets and he's like, why are we hanging up the alphabet? <laughs> Don't you know your ABCs? Um, I'm like, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. Just, just leave me alone. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, so yeah, um, I have that one. I am going to stitch it. Um, it will probably be a pillow, um, or a flat fold, but, um, I still haven't need a flat fold. I know. I know you think you think, but I know I just need to watch Vonna Piper's tutorial and I'll, I'll do it. I will. But, um, yeah. So anyway, those are my, um, those are my finishes. 
I was a part of the um, Brenda Gervais stitch along and I ended up having Holly Jones, Miss Holly Jones was my person that I stitched for and I ended up stitching, um, oh my gosh, what is it? Pin, pin feathers, pin feathers I believe and I turned it into a drum and I will insert a picture um, and I just mailed it off to Holly and she received it already so I can, I can say that and I can show it because she already got it. Um, and she said she likes it. So that's all that matters. And I got mine. My got, I got mine and I will, I will show it in the, uh, in the hall. It's not really hall, but I'll, I'll show it there. So for those of you who've been with me, you know that my friend Sarah and I, um, we teach middle school and we have, um, actually we have now over 25 kids that have come to us and signed up and gotten cross-stitch materials from us. And, um, not all 25 come every single week, but, um, you know, probably 10 to 15 each week come, which is pretty good, but there are still 25 plus kits out there. And thank you to all of you that have donated and, um, giving me material and patterns and thread for, uh, needles and hoops for the girls. Um, so appreciate appreciated. Um, I wanted to tell you a couple of stories, um, about them before, you know, just to, to share with them some of the things that we're doing. I just want to say thank you to Michelle. Uh, Michelle, you know who you are. Um, Michelle sent me this like humongous, humongous box. Um, I almost needed the dolly to like bring it back, bring it into school. It was filled with patterns and uh, some of them were um, quilt patterns, but very few compared to the number of projects, uh, kits, fully kitted um, cross stitch kits for my students. They were um, Mill Hill, Mill Hill beaded ones and all of the, I don't know, just, there were so many things and Michelle, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, what we did was we spread them out into, you know, on the different categories. So here's the pattern table. Here's the kit table. Here is, um, the fabric table. And we, we had them all spread out and the girls, we, we had a, a spinner. We did a spinner on the board and, um, we let them pick. And <clears throat> so everybody, we went through everybody's name and then they could pick again. And then we went through everybody's name and they could pick again. And the girls went home with so much stuff and they're so excited and they're going to have plenty of things to do over the summer. Um, yeah. So Michelle, thank you so, so much. I really hope I get to meet you someday so I can give you a hug in person just to say thank you. Um, it was, it was in really incredible and generous uh, of, of you. Um, so at my cross stitch club and some of you who follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this, but one of my students, Annika, she had, um, she had seen me cause I stitch with the kids. We talk, um, we have our little tables, we sit and stitch and she had seen me with the keeper and she went home and she had like <clears throat> scrap fabric from an old pillowcase flannel. I think it was flannel. I'll insert pictures here for you guys to see, but she had, um, she had created her own Port, uh, portfolio uh, whip a keeper um, and it, she made a little spot for her she rolled up her um, her fabric and she slid it through and she had made a little spot for her needle mind uh, for her needles um, I, I will yeah you got to see these pictures and if you haven't seen my my uh, Instagram but I will insert them here too but she was so proud she didn't have anything to sew it with so she stapled it together and it it works um so that got my friend sarah and i we got that got us thinking of these girls they they crave crafts they want more what can we do so the her room used to be in home ec room so we knew that there were sewing machines someplace in the building and we found we did find them um they were in the, a closet in the way back of the library and we found four four, five, um, and boxes of fabric and boxes of, um, thread and notions and, you know, seam rippers and everything you can possibly need. So we're set. Um, so we're going to, uh, before the school year's over, we're going to teach the girls how to sew a pillow. And, um, I will definitely help Annika if she wants to, uh, make a, a whip a keeper. I will definitely have her, I'll teach her how to do it so that she can, she can have one and we can actually sew the one she she's made but i'm telling you these girls are super clever and super creative and you know i just i just love it and she's actually one of the girls who uh, she's the one who um crocheted that frog um i had shown it a few weeks ago and she crocheted a frog and she just had it sitting on her table and she didn't really 
she just thought she, it was just a crocheted little animal. And uh, I, I walked up to her and I was like, oh, you're trying to keep the frog away? And she didn't understand. So then I had to explain to her what ripping out from cross stitch, you know, we rip it. Um, and so she thought it was pretty funny. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that. So the girls are making a ton of progress. So I'm going to insert here um, and hopefully I will do, I don't know if I can do it here because my daughter did the video last time. So if I can figure it out, I will put them here. If not, I'll, you know, cut me off and have the video stream of the kids and their projects and what they've created. But they've been definitely busy. And a few of them have been asking um, their parents to take them, asking their, you know, their parents to take them to Michael's and Joanne's to, to get bigger hoops and, you know, more, more things. So I'm definitely creating little monsters or cross stitching monsters, but I think it's great. You know, it's something they're going to always remember like, oh, I learned how to cross stitch from Miss Mazer and Miss Versine. So um, do you remember when we, we sat in the class and we were cross stitching? Um, yeah. I just love that. So anyway, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoy the pictures of my students' projects <laughs> as much as me because I am so proud of, of all of them and all of the things that they've accomplished. So <clears throat> I wanted to say thank you for the, for everything. And then um, I also wanted to share, um, I got a little birthday card. Thank you, Christy. She sent me a birthday card. Um, it's super sweet and adorable. And if you ever get anything from Christy, Christy has some amazing handwriting. I am so sorry to all you folks who ever have to see my handwriting. Um, in my brain, when I was in school, <laughs> high school especially, I had planned on being a doctor. Um, and it wasn't until I was tutoring in, in college, I was in the, the pre-med, I was enrolled in pre-med classes, all that fun stuff, all my biology. And then I started tutoring because I needed the money and I was tutoring. And then that was just like like a click like this is what you're meant to do you're meant to be a teacher um because it just brought me so much joy so um i had practiced all those years <laughs> to be poor like to have bad penmanship because every doctor that i'd ever written i seen and written like watched them write their handwriting was so messy so i was like oh doctors have messy handwriting i don't need to make mine pretty uh, but i i print much better than i actually write i'm also a lefty too so like when i write like i need to like turn my paper sideways I don't write like this I have to yeah and my dad used to like turn his hand <clears throat> I don't know but oh my gosh I'm super super sidetracked tonight I am so sorry you're gonna like Stephanie don't don't film on Fridays anymore don't do it just just wait just wait um but I want to get it out to you because I have a lot of things to do this weekend um but anyway, so Christy, thank you so much. Um, and thank you, Nisi. Um, Nisi actually sent a gift card over to Stitch New England um, when I went to the um, Stitch Night on doo, 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 the week before my birthday. So the last weekend, is the last week? Yeah, the last week of March. Um, Nisi uh, sent a, a gift card over to Stitch New England for me. And I used that to kit up a few of our whips or a few of our cells that we're going to be starting this week coming. So thank you so much, Nisi, for that. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'll show you some of what I got in the hall. Um, yeah, and I do want to say hello because I absentmindedly forgotten to say hello to some of my friends that are at Stitch Night. So I just want to say hello, Jill. Hello, Karen. Hello, Laura. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Pam. <laughs> um, and if I forgot you, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, anyway, one of them were talking, they're like, you didn't say hi to me. So I, I hope I, I hope I remembered everybody. But we just had such a great night at the um, Stitch New England Stitch Night that last week of March, Tracy OG Stitchery was there. Um, and Pam from uh, Stitching in the Land of Good Enough is the one who owns the shop. And she, oh my gosh, we were just laughing so hard that we were crying. It was tears, tears of joy, tears of happiness. And yeah, that's all. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So my plans, I have a lot of plans. Um, apparently I have 14 cells that I'm a part of, or I'm planning on being a part of. Um, because like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I just can't say no. I can't say no. Um, so what are my plans? Um, well, I've also been busy too. I've been making whippa keepers for the retreat because I'm a vendor for that. 
I have been like a crazy person busy, but I have to share with you, this is my Whippa Keeper that I'm bringing with me to Maine. Um, my friend that I work with, Joy, um, Joy ended up embroidering because she has this amazing embroidery machine and she embroidered this flamingo and she was showing us all of her different flamingo embroideries and other embroideries that she did. And I was like, oh, can I buy that from you? <laughs> And because I, or can you make me one and I'll pay you for it? Um, and she gave it to me and she's so sweet. Um, so here's what it looks like. Sorry. Pardon, pardon my, my hot mess over here. Do, 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 do. Um, I did sew straight, but the fabric makes it look super wonky. So it's a little bit um, of a misillusion there. But um, what I'm keeping inside of here are the two cells that I'm going to be stitching with my friends, um, Brandy and Nisi. Um, inside here is, I'll just show you, is Good Intentions by Kathy Barrett. And I had to put them in a big one because their pages are big and they don't fit in the little guy. Just, just for a comparison, they're a little small. And I didn't want to fold these, so I made a big one. So what my plan is for Good Intentions, I am actually, so I kitted up this um, when I was at Pam's uh, the last week in March. So this beige colored fabric, and I'm doing it in those uh, blues and grays. And they're really pretty. So I can't wait to show you um, in two weeks, because I will be back in two weeks. And hopefully stitching, uh, filming on a Saturday when I'm not like a crazy person. Okay, the other one that I'm starting with Nisi and Brandy is Violet's Blue by Blackbird. And it is just absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to stitch that house. And again, weirdly, it's in purples and pinks. Not my jam, but it's a beautiful pattern. It really is, it's a beautiful pattern. I originally thought maybe I would switch out some of the deeper purples for like more of a blurple, like a blue purple color. Cause a lot, sometimes violets are that color. Um, but it's Blackbird and I didn't want to mess with it because sometimes when you mess with the colors, like we saw with my Quaker, it didn't work out so well. Um, so anyway, I'm excited. I can't wait to stitch it. I can't, I can't wait to see my friends. Um, so that is in this week with Rakipa. All right. This, <laughs> this is holding another sal. Um, so this is in a, a whip Akipa that I made. And this is holding... Yes, this one's Brandy's um, birthday cell. So Brandy's birthday is in May. And this one is going to be um, the Mighty Oak. That's what it is. So I got this fabric, um, if you can kind of see. And so I'm going to be stitching the Mighty Oak. And I've organized it so that all the floss are here. I just have to put them off, take them off the week's little square and put them on those floss drops. Um, yeah, so that is... That is um, Brandy's birthday cell. Inside of here is When Cardinals Appear by JBW Designs. And this is Nisi's birthday. Nisi's also has a birthday in May. And this is Nisi's birthday cell. Um, absolutely beautiful. I'm really looking forward to stitching this. Um, and maybe it'll, um, maybe it'll motivate me to finish or get back to um, Bluebirds of Happiness because Bluebirds of Happiness is in a little timeout because I had to rip out the blue bird, which I haven't done yet. So I need to rip out that blue bird and replace it with that darker thread because I couldn't see the, um, the color change from Victoria Clayton Soaps. So, but that is um, Nisi's birthday cell. All right, what is in here? I forget. I don't know. Let's see, it's a surprise. Do, do, do. Oh. This is going to be in June. All right, that makes it, I'm up to 15 now. This is Autumn Quaker. Um, we are going to be stitching this at the Stitch New England retreat. So if anybody wants to stitch along with us at Stitch New England, um, I will be stitching this with Nisi and Brandy. And I think there's, a, I think a couple other people. Um, yeah, so it's in this, I, I, this came into the shop and I just absolutely fell in love with this fabric. Um, I did the, which you can't really see, but I did the paisleys. I, I'm, I'm having a hot mess over here. I did the paisleys um, 
on the inside pockets and then this fabric on the outside and it's just absolutely absolutely beautiful okay so those are um i also got i also kitted those up when i was um at stitch new england um a few weeks ago um so let's see i'm my cells let's start my cell count there are 15. spring quaker um i was late to the party starting that one um tis spring with brandy um that's our spring equinox cell my birthday cell strength and dignity good intentions violets blue april 23rd folks yes You'll see it in my haul. I purchased the Bee Farm by Erin Elizabeth, and I purchased the um, Paisleys and Polka Dots um, finish, and I purchased the um, all the paints. So I'm ready. I am ready for April 23rd. Um, April 30th, I am starting. I know Chris, the camping stitcher, already started it, but I, I, just, I just postponed my start. So I am going to be stitching with her in my brain. Um, Quack Quack Honk by Erin Elizabeth. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely adore those rubber ducks. No, nope, not the rubber, the rubber boots on the ducks and goose. Um, so cute, so cute. Um, May 1st, um, I'm going to be participating in the building blocks with um, Missy and Kathy and Carolina Stitcher's Joy. They just had a video, I watched it, um, talking about all the things that count as blocks. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to be stitching on that. I have a whip in progress, so I'm just going to be working on that starting May 1st. Um, let's see. I talked about Brandy's birthday start, the Mighty Oak. Um, Memorial Day, I'm starting a cell, which is Erin um, Elizabeth's American flag. Um, I think Jamie from Pink Stitchers is going to be doing that with us. Emma uh, from B&E Stitchery is going to do that with us because quite a few of us have that. And I thought, why not have Memorial Day? I think it'll be fun. Um, May May 28th is Nisi's birthday, so we'll be doing, sorry, When Cardinals Appear. Um, I don't know when the date is for the Nashville cookbook, but I am starting that, Sal. I have, um, you'll see it in hall. I bought the cookbook. Um, I'm starting the, Alicia was talking about it, the Christmas stockings. Come on. Those are the cutest things from Annie B's. Love them. So I'm going to do that with Sarah, my friend Sarah, as well. And um, I, I have one in my haul. Chris, the camping stitcher, and I are starting our own cell for one stitch at a time, and you'll see that house. Um, so I think that I think that's fifteen. Yep. <laughs> see, it's the cell season. You have to start everything. Um, so yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of whips to add to my whip collection, but it's okay because I'll have some finishes too, right? Yes. So. Uh, if you want to join us on any of these cells, um, I think we should just blanket it, girls. Maybe we should do that 11 billion, uh, 11 billion cell along because <laughs> we have a lot. Um, the last time I was talking to Emma, she had started making um, a spreadsheet so that we could follow when we're starting and what we're starting. Um, so I just need to get the dates for the Nashville cookbook and the dates for Christmas stockings because um, I got that one going on. But... Um, yeah, those are those are my cells. It's time for haul, and there's there's a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's been three weeks, right? Um, so let's show the first thing. Um, I purchased uh, the pattern, and I didn't print out the um, cover, but it is the Bee Farm cell with um, Helen D and Erin Elizabeth and Cobweb Corner. Cobweb corner. Um, my friend Sarah and I are going to do this together. We're going to get together and have a painting party and follow as soon as Erin makes it the tutorial on painting the crack. Although Erin did, thank you, Erin did give amazing um, written, uh, written destructions. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm not even, I'm going to have to edit this thing so much. Um, but she did give great like tips in her video with Helen uh, you know, paint, let this dry, paint this coat. So I can go back and watch that if I, if she doesn't put the, her video out by the time I want to paint mine. So it'll be fine. So I ordered it all from Michael's. Apparently I can't tell the size, but there was coupons. So I just got it. So yeah, anyway, that is my, um, bee farm paint. And to go with my bee farm, Hello, Bee Farm. 
Yes, I can absolutely, I'm sorry, my nose is itchy too. Um, I can absolutely cut this on the laser cutter that I have access to, um, but I have to make this. Like I have to, I have to do, I have to design it and that would take a lot of time. And so this was a very, very reasonable price and it was super easy and fast. And so my friend Sarah and I ordered ours together and we split the shipping and it arrived and now we can, now we can get it started. So yay, very excited for that. And since things cannot travel along, although that wasn't traveling alone, um, I ended up purchasing the, um, the oval stand for the bunny and I got some extra of the oval circles for the, um, the bee, uh, nope, the birds, the flowers and birds, birds and flowers. Um, that is also in this same orientation, the up and down, not the, that way. So yeah, I got that. I'll paint that when I paint the, um, the bee, since I'll have it all out. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, let's see. I will show you those after because those were my gifts from um, the sow. Okay, so this was the stitch I was talking about, that the other sow that I'm doing with Chris the Camping Stitcher. One stitch at a time. Uh, La La D. I mean, come on, folks. This is gorgeous. So I was um, chatting with Chris and... I don't know, I just went to one, two, three stitch and added to cart and boom, bada, boom, bang, and it arrived. And in case you didn't see or couldn't read because I was holding it very poorly and I'm sorry. Um, it says beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. And it is, it's, it's just beautiful. So what I did was I also ordered from Cedar River Linens, I ordered, um, it was three fabrics that Brenda and Laura had talked about a few videos ago, maybe two videos ago. Uh, I think it was Maple Bar and Overcast. Uh, there's, I don't know, there were several. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but there were several and I ended up getting them um, on 36 count. And when they arrive, I will choose one to stitch this on. So I'm excited for that. So. That is one that's coming, but I haven't got that in the mail yet. Um, I did get some fabric in the mail. Yes. Thank you, Color and Cotton. How do I love you? I love you. Um, all right. Did anybody else talk to <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> this is 20 count Color and Cotton um, sugar cookie. And... I just thought that might be really fun. I think I'm going to bring this with me as an alternative to what I brought for um, Good Intentions. So I thought this might be a good alternative because Good Intentions, the one I currently have kitted with it is 36 count. And at a retreat, 36 count might be a little bit of a nuisance to stitch on. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna just put this in there with it, um, but I didn't wanna do that until I showed you guys. Um, so sugar cookie, it's 20 count, it's an easier, I can. I don't even need, I don't even need magnifying glasses for 20 count. So that's a good thing. Um, this also, I don't need magnifying glasses for. This is, so I don't know, I fell down the, I fell down a hole. They put color and cotton posted all of these beautiful colors and to me, it just screamed the beach. It just screamed beach to me. So I'll go th through them now at one at a time. And I got them all on 28 count because at the time of the ordering, that was the count that I had the least amount of fabric for. So I figured, oh, okay. But now part of me is like, oh man, I should have ordered it in 32 or oh, I should have ordered it in 36. Oh, well, you live and you learn. Um, so this is sandbar. That's pretty good right there. Really, really pretty. Um, it'll be my first time ever stitching on color and cotton, so I'm kind of excited. Um, oh, my pile just went down. Sorry, folks. There's a big pile going over here. Um, this one's called Aruba Soft, and it's a tealy blue, blue-green. It's really, really pretty. I just want to sit and touch my fabric and go, you're so nice. Um, again, total weirdo. Um, denim Soft. 
yeah that's a good representation of it so those were the fabrics that I purchased um, I also purchased when Missy and Kathy started talking about the cookbook I was like mm, I don't need it oh I didn't order it last because here's what happened let's just be for real so I bought the I bought last year's cookbook and it ended up I, I found it finally um, but it ended up in a a spot that I totally forgot about and I never used it as a cookbook. I never looked at it for cross stitch and it's got a lot of great smalls. This year's, oh my gosh, there's like four in here, five in here that I want to do. And then I saw Kathy, nope, Missy. I saw Missy's uh, Instagram post of her chicken Alfredo lasagna and I was like, oh, that's like totally my jam. Um, so I want to try some of these things and yeah, I was it Teresa Garden Goose that was um, was going to try this and st uh, t you know try that out and see how that is, or yeah I think Kathy said that she was going to try that one too. I don't know. I'm gonna I'll talk to them all next week and find out. But um, I am going to stitch one of these in here and that'll probably be my Smalls Exchange for either Stitch Maine or Stitch New England because um, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Okay, so when I um, when I had to order the cookbook, I had to order something else, and I ordered this Serenity, and I had talked to Pam in Stitch New England when I saw this, and I was on the fence of purchasing it, and she's like, oh no, just do it next year. I'm doing it next year. And then Emma was talking about it, and she's like, oh, I'm going to do it into a drum, and I was like... That's what Pam and I talked about. Um, so great minds think alike, Emma. Um, we thought, how stinking cute would that little birdie be on the top of the drum? And then this whole dear family house situation on the side of the drum. I think that was going to be really pretty. Because, um, you know, now I've made two drums. So I'm a little drum addict. I don't know. And I just love them. And I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. So this will be stitched. I think I'm gonna wait instead of starting another cell. I think 15 is, is enough cell. So I think I'll wait till um, next year to start something with that. Um, <clears throat> I was supposed to start this because um, Nisi and Brandy already started theirs. They started it Easter weekend and God saw, and this is absolutely incredible and gorgeous. And I couldn't get the pattern at Stitch New England because they didn't have any more. And so I had to order it. And then by the time it, I ordered the pattern, I haven't been, I just haven't been back to um, Stitch New England to get any materials for it. Um, I'm sure that probably one of the fabrics that I got from uh, Cedar River Linens when it comes in would work really well on this. Um, or maybe that color and cotton would, but there's a lot of browns in that bird. So I don't know, um, but I am gonna start this. Oh, that makes it 16. Just keep adding them up, girls. Um, so, so yeah, um, and God saw is another one that I'm going to be starting because it's really, it's beautiful. Those, even though the flowers are pink, it's really beautiful. But what if you just, what if I, what if I, maybe this is what Brandy was talking. No, maybe it was Emma was talking about this. Maybe if I just, what if I just stitched the bottom? Maybe, I don't know. And maybe if I just turn it into a drum. I know I'm a dramatic um, okay I did pick up a pattern at Pam's shop and doo -doo -doo, here's the pattern I have troublemakers I know Helen D has already stitched this um, I have troublemakers from fall I haven't started it yet um, I bought it last year at Stitch New England I am going to start it in the fall and then I'll definitely do this one probably next year um, as a start I don't know how I'll finish it. I could always cut my own board. That would be very easy to cut. That would not take long. I could do that. But I just think this is so cute. And I love that she's doing them seasonally. So we've got fall, we've got spring. I wonder what she's gonna do for the next ones. Who knows? But I can't wait to see. Um, I also got, um, my friend Pam was incredibly generous and she had a basket on the counter and she has just moved. Um, so she was trying to get rid of some things that she, you know, clearing, cleaning things out, right? She was cleaning things out. So from her clean out, I chose and picked up Halloween's Girl. 
because why not? Look at the little Dracula Halloween bottom guy and he's giving candy to the little girl in the squirrel. I don't know. I thought it was fun. I picked up this because I have never done a Satsuma Street and I've got perforated paper now people. Um, so yeah, I think I would like to, to do this one. Um, I think that would be a very cute ornament and I think it would be fun. And the shape of it is very, ouch, <sighs> elbow. Um, the shape of it is very much like the um, Robin Pickens fabric that's gonna be coming out soon. And that diamond pattern, I can put that on the back. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, I picked up this Bent Creek pattern. Thank you, Pam. Look at that little snowman, super cute. Look at that house, love it. Um, Autumn Cottage. I know, just a Plum Street, come on. How do you say no to Plum Street? Um, Noah's Ark. Guess I'm gonna have to get the other Noah's Arks to start looking for them. So those are the ones that I received, um, well, I chose from Pam's um, stash. I didn't wanna take everything, because you know, I gotta share. And my friend Sarah got a bunch of things, and um, Pam also gave us some needle minders, but I already put those away, I'm sorry. Um, my friend Sarah, she got this for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on some bag as a, a bag pull, but it says, get in losers if we're going to the craft store. Um, and I thought that, would, that is just, it's so me. Like this, this is definitely me. Um, I wish it said cross stitch door, um, but it's awesome. I love it. And um, well, craft store, I guess it encompasses everything I do. So it's still, it, it works, it works. Um, so in the Brenda uh, Gervais Sal, um, Como Stitches had me. Jess from Como Stitches had me. Hello. Oh my gosh. Um, so how cute is this little Brenda Gervais? Look at this little pillow. So cute. I love that little chick. And oh, the stitching is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's got pellets in there and some polyfill. Um, and it's just so sweet. So cute. Um, in her package, she also included... Um, some peacemaker needles, thank you, because we hold it. We all all need needles. Um, a little pair of embroidery scissors, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, this color, uh, 32 count Lugana Gold Rush um, by Be Stitch Me. And I have never stitched on. You know what? Sorry for the crinkle, but I'm gonna take it out because the glare isn't doing it anything. Um, Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Um, yeah, so this is Gold Rush, and this is by Be Stitch Me. So I've never stitched. It's a 32 count Lugana, um, and I've never stitched on Be Stitch Me before, so that's exciting. So I'm going to get to stitch on Color and Cotton. I'm going to get to stitch on Be Stitch Me. Um, so this, is a, this is a haul of firsts, folks. Um, yeah, so that, um, that is all the haul that I have. Um, and again, I just want to say so, so thank you so much to, um, uh, to Michelle and to Christy and to, uh, all of you for wishing me a happy birthday. Um, it really, it really makes me feel special that you took the time out of your day to, to do that. So. I just want to say thank you. You guys made my birthday awesome. Awesome. Quilting. So this quilt right here behind me, um, I made this for my younger daughter. So actually I should say it was a, um, it was a joint effort. So this is back during the COVID times where we would just go to the, the the quilt shop, pick up fabric or order it and then pick it up and then, you know, head back home. I watched a lot of tutorials um, to learn how to free motion quilt from Angela Walter. She's the one who does quilt for Tula Pink, if you are familiar with Tula Pink. Um, and this fabric is Tula Pink fabric. So I was trying to channel my inner Angela Walters uh, when I was doing this quilt, but the sides, those diamonds, they are two different fabrics that my um, my younger daughter, she sewed the half square triangles together and I did this. So this is all um, pieced 
applique, not, not pieced, I'm sorry, it's applique, um, and then top stitched. So, um, and then what I did for the quilting on it, I wanted to keep the background plain so that I could um, do accents and things. What I wanted it to look like was grass at the bottom here, clouds up here, but then coming out of the elephant, out of the elephant's snows is like, it's shooting water. So I know it's kind of hard to see because this sucker has been washed a lot because Lily loves it and Lily sleeps with it an awful lot. Um, but there, that's, um, that's just what I've done. And it was one of my earlier quilts. So as I'm looking like, oh, this guy needs to get stitched back down. Um, and I did put uh, this, sorry, this fabric on the back. It's just some elephant fabric on the back and blues because that's her favorite color too. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I haven't, I haven't been quilting. Um, I should say quilting a quilt lately because I've been making a lot of Whippa Keepers. I actually have made for the Stitch New England retreat. Um, I'm excited and nervous um, about it, but I've, I've got 68 small made currently, and I have eight large um, made, like you've seen, uh, I've shown you uh, in this video. So um, all different fabrics and things, things that, you know, I fabric I like and then fabric I hope that um, other people like um, and I've got some more on the cutting table and I am going to be able to stitch or sew on Sunday so Sunday will be a sewing day to get some more Ripa Keepers made and then uh, I'll sew a little bit Monday morning um, and then I'll be working and then packing up and getting ready to go to Maine so it's exciting I'm yeah, excited, nervous, all of those things. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. So that's it for that's it for quilting. And I hope I, I do have um, some fabric that I've um, purchased, and I want to start a quilt. Uh, well, I purchased it a while ago. It's it's been kitted up for a while, and um, actually making the whippa keepers that I've been making, I've had to pull some fabrics because I've been looking for color combinations, and I'm finding fabric that I had forgotten about. And so I'm, I'm excited to um, get to those projects. Um, so hopefully once I finish with the retreat and doing the Whippa Keepers, because they do take up a lot of time. Um, yeah, I'll get to uh, make another quilt and I can't wait for you guys to see what I, what I come up with. So stay tuned. All right, folks, it's the time we've all been waiting for. If you've made it this long, kudos to you, and thank you for sticking around. Um, the last segment I have is giveaways, and um, I wanted to go through and share with you all of the winners. I chose them today. Um, I've got screenshots, so I'll definitely insert the screenshots, or if not, put the person's name. Um, and I'm looking down because I have, I have the screenshots on my iPad. So. The, um, the winner of the pattern by um, Annie the Proper Stitcher, um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to send me your email address and I will forward that to Annie and Annie will email you the a strength um, and dignity pattern and that way you can have it. So the winner is at Flower Lass. At Flower Lass. Congratulations. You won the strength and dignity pattern. Um, the coffee the coffee needle minder <clears throat> sorry so this one is I like cross stitch coffee and maybe three people stitchy Jamie at stitchy Jamie uh, congratulations you won this needle minder please and email me my email will be linked in the description below please email me your um, address make sure you're 18 years older uh, 18 years or older and I will um, send this out to you Um, the winner of the um, I cross stitch because stabbing people is frowned upon. Uh, that goes to Kathy Whitman, 4306. So Kathy Whitman, 4306. Congratulations. If you received this. Uh, please email me your uh, address and I will mail this out to you. Okay. 
and there's two more. Um, winner of the Feeling Salty Salt Box House is Lisa Don Mez 9552. Lisa Don Mez 9552. Congratulations. This one is for you. Just don't forget to email me um, at the New England Stitcher at gmail.com. Again, listed below, and I will mail this to you. And then the very last one belongs to, you're the winner, Kathy Cullen Stern, 9652. You won the May the Floss Be With You Grogu Needle Minder. Um, again, Kathy Cullen Stern, 9652. Congratulations. Um, thank you all so very much for um, entering the subscription entering the subscription, entering the, um, the, the drawing and, um, for your comments, you are all so super kind. And I know that some floss tubers have not been receiving kindness. And I just want to say thank you so much for the kindness that you have shown me. Um, it really does mean a lot. We are putting ourselves out here, um, in a very vulnerable state. <laughs> and, uh, I just want to say thank you so much to, um, to you for leaving comments and for being kind. Um, yeah. So thank you. And, um, that's all I have for this week. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to be. I've got to do some editing cause I definitely was a wackadoodle in, <laughs> in a few spots. Um, but anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Next week is my April vacation. Um, and I will be traveling to the library stitches retreat and I cannot wait to see my friends and I don't know, just give everybody a big hug. And if you are going to retreat, have fun, make friends, keep in touch with them. Um, Cause stitchy friends are the best. Um, so I just want to say have a great week and or two weeks and I will see you soon. Bye guys.